So for today's topic, how can we increase functional communication in our autistic children? Thank you for joining. My name is Nanette. I'm a parent to three amazing young children. I studied to be a teacher and I've been working in the field of autism for the past 15 years. I make weekly videos on topics related to autism, so make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more free, easy and functional strategies that you can implement at home on an everyday basis. Communication is something that we can work on perhaps in contrived scenarios at times and it's good in its place. I'm thinking of things like school setups or therapy, speech therapy perhaps, and that's good and necessary. But how can we help our kids to increase and improve their functional communication? A way of communicating that's really going to make a difference in their everyday life. Something they can use, something that is easy enough to use. We often think of communication as spoken words and phrases, and yeah, that's of course part of it, but there are so many other ways that we use to communicate as well. Just think for a moment of the time that your partner perhaps comes home from work and you've had a long day of work as well, perhaps you've looked after the kids in between, and he or she asks you, what's for dinner? I'm pretty sure that your body language gives a lot of more information than perhaps the the words or the phrase that you may use to answer him or her. If you just think about that, it's not only the words or the phrases, the spoken language that we use that convey messages. We use so many other forms and modes of communication too. Even from a young age, we are taught to look out for other cues, other ways of people communicating with us. If a dog growls, then we are cautious. If we're walking or about to cross a street and someone shouts or waves their arms, then we look out and to see where the danger is coming from. So we are taught from a young age to look out for other modes of communication. Why is it any different for our children? And as I said, we want to make sure that the, the modes of communication that we work on and introduce with our children, that it is really functional, something that they can and should be using. It shouldn't be difficult for them to use because then no child is going to use that, right? It needs to be easy and it needs to work. Contrary to popular belief, if you have, for a child, I'm talking about now for any person, if you provide more than one way for your child to communicate, then their verbal speech may most likely also increase and improve. Think of it this way, you are basically reducing the amount of pressure on one mode of communication. So instead of focusing on vocal language, vocal language all the time, and that's the only thing that you're focusing on, you are now providing a different way of hearing the message that your child is trying to share with you. So there's less pressure on the vocal or the verbal language, and therefore it's more likely that they will attempt a different mode of communication as well even at the same time at times i'm wondering comment below on this video to let me know what other mode of communication anything else that you have noticed your child or any child using it's not allowed to be a vocal speech another mode of communication think about that a little bit gestures body language cards written words anything else that you can think of comment on the video to let us know what you have noticed in another person it doesn't even have to be your child a different way of communicating of sending a message there are three ways that i want to share with you today three practical functional easy to implement ways that you can help your child to increase and improve their communication skills number one is visual choice boards we go into a lot of detail on visual choice boards, exactly how to do that and why to do it and how to implement it in your home in an easy, practical way in our training sessions. And we've got a parent course that include visual choice boards as well. I can leave the link in the comment section below if you want to take a look at that. You can also send us a direct message if you would like some discount on this particular course that we provide. So if you are interested in discount for a very practical course that you can definitely implement in your home and in everyday life, send us a direct message and we can give you some discount, a special code to use for that course. 
So number one, visual choice boards. Number two, respect the gesture. If your child chooses today to communicate by using a gesture, who knows what he wants to try out tomorrow. Perhaps there's going to be something else paired with a gesture. And that is a way of building that foundation of communication. Just building an understanding even of the way communication works and a message that is sent and received and responded to. So respond to those gestures. It's okay and you should. And then the third one, model it. If you want your child to request more, then we should be modeling that too. If you're thinking about having a snack, say something about it. If you're, if you're choosing between two snacks that you're going to have, comment on it. Let your kid know these, th these thought processes and the way that you are communicating these. And this will also help them to create an awareness of these different modes, but also different opportunities for engaging in communication with others. If you found this video helpful today and you can think of any parent that can do with watching this video, with getting to, to know some easy practical strategies to increase functional communication in their home, please consider sharing this video. We are all about helping parents, supporting one another with things that are easy to implement and functional strategies that really work. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with others that may benefit from it, and please remember to subscribe as we have amazing free resources that we share with you on a weekly basis. Remember that direct message if you want discount to an awesome practical course that's going to make a positive difference in your home and for your child right from today.